Hello everyone! Welcome to my channel! This is Mom Saibel Explains. This video is all about subtraction of similar fractions. In subtracting similar fractions, it's just easy because all you need to do is to subtract the numerators. Remember, the one at the top is our numerator and the one in the bottom is our denominator. So the trick here is that we will just subtract our numerators. That will be 7 minus 5 is equal to 2. And then, just copy the denominator. If it is in lowest term, that is already our final answer. So for this question, the answer is 2 elevenths. We have here 3 and 10 twelves minus 5 twelves. This is also a very easy question because we can just subtract the 5 twelves from the 10 twelves. So we have to copy first the whole number, which is the 3, and then subtract the numerator. That's 10 minus 5, that's going to be 5, and then copy our denominator. And if this mixed number is already in the lowest term, then we can say that this is our final answer. That's 3 and 5 twelves. We have here 3 and 10 twelves minus 5 twelves. This is also a very easy question because we can just subtract the 5 twelves from the 10 twelves. So we have to copy first the whole number, which is the 3, and then subtract the numerators. That's 10 minus 5, that's going to be 5, and then copy our denominator. And if this mixed number is already in the lowest term then we can say that this is our final answer that's 3 and 5 twelfths we have another one 4 and 10 fifteenths minus 2 and 4 fifteenths this is also easy because we can just subtract our whole number so that's 4 minus 2 will give us 2 next we'll subtract 4 fifteenths from 10 fifteenths and that will give us 6 and copy our denominator 15. If this mixed number is already in lowest term, then that is our answer. But this time, we can still reduce 6 15s to lowest term. What number can we divide both 6 and 15? We can divide it by 3. So we can just do... 6 divided by 3, that's 2. And then, 15 divided by 3, that's 5. So we can just copy 2 and then copy 2 fifths. So our answer for this question is 2 and 2 fifths. We have a question here, 5 minus 4 fifths. To subtract a fraction from a whole number, we can rename the whole number to its equivalent improper fraction or mixed number. Then we can proceed as in subtraction of similar fractions. But for me, I rename this whole number into a mixed fraction because it's easy. First, all we need to do is to subtract 1 from 5. That's going to be 4. Then this one, we will just change it into a fraction and we will just follow the denominator of our subtrahend it's going to be 5 fifths then we'll copy 4 fifths then we can just subtract we'll copy 4 then 5 minus 4 is equal to 1 and then copy our denominator so I think it's easier and our answer for this question is 4 and 1 fifth we have another question here and that is 6 and 1 third minus 2 thirds. Since we cannot subtract 2 thirds from 1 third, we can follow the trick that we did in the previous question. We will rename 6 and 1 third to its equivalent mixed fraction. First, we will rename 6. We will subtract 1, and that's going to be 5. Then, we'll copy the denominator of our subtrahend. It's going to be 3 thirds. And then we have to write one third because this is still part of our main event. And then we follow two thirds. We'll just copy the two thirds, which is our subtrahend. 
Now, we'll add 5 and 3 thirds and 1 third. That's going to be 5 and 4 thirds. It means we rename 6 and 1 third into 5 and 4 thirds. Then, subtract 2 thirds here. Then, perform the subtraction of similar fractions. We'll have 5, then subtract 4 minus 2 is equal to 2 thirds. And our answer for this question is 5 and 2 thirds. And we're done. We have another one, 8 and 5 ninths minus 7 ninths. This question is the same with the previous question. We cannot subtract 7 ninths from 5 ninths because 7 ninths is bigger than 5 ninths. So we will rename 8. We'll subtract 1 from it. It's going to be 7. Then we will copy the denominator of our subtrahend. It's going to be 9 ninths. And let's add the 5 ninths because it's still part of our minuen. Then subtract 7 ninths. Then we're ready to go. 7 and 9 ninths plus 5 ninths, that's that will give us 7 and 14 ninths minus 7 ninths. Then the answer would be 7. 14 minus 7, that's 7. And copy our denominator, which is 9. So it's really easy for us to solve this kind of problem. And we're done! Don't forget to hit the like button if you think this is helpful. Till next time!